the test episode six a new era for australia's team episode six baby episode six uh we got like two or three episodes left so we're getting close to the end of the uh the season highly been enjoying it highly been loving it um i'm trying to get those three out as fast as i can um uh, but we're back with episode six let's go and get started man let's go and get started with episode six review so starting off uh the boys are back you know steve smith and david warner they've served a year-long ban for cheating uh i think they, i think i touched on like the first episode so my thoughts on cheating uh i don't like it it's not part of the game i absolutely despise it actually cannot stand cheaters and you know for them to come back talk about you know what happened you know you know how they how they you know how they went along with their ways it was i mean it, i understood it i understood you know but as a teammate as a teammate you know would you like to see you know would you like to see two players on your team that cheated come back you know how how, how would you guys accept that you know I mean, personally i you know if they came if they came you know they apologize, which they did, you know, when they first got caught, they come back, told us, you know, how they changed, you know, how they, you know, went through the process and how, you know, how they have looked at stuff differently. I understand because, like I say, you're part of your team. Plus, we need you. <laughs> we need you for the team. So, highly, highly appreciate about that. Um, So, you know, I think, I think for me, just them you know, coming back to the team, you know, saying what they need to say. Welcome back with open arms. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Uh, David Warren, he was pretty chill about, like I say, he's pretty chill about how he was going on. He was just, you know, yeah, you know, I learned my lesson. I'm ready to move on and stuff like that. While Steve Smith, who I actually do like Steve Smith, pretty cool. He was a bit nervous, anxious, just because, you know, he wasn't sure how he was going to get treated, how his teammates was going to look at him, how his fans, how the fans were going to look at him. You forget, I mean, these guys, these guys, this is a big scandal. Because they get suspended for a whole year cheating in basically a game and a big magnitude like cricket is. It's, it's just not sweet. Shit is not sweet, but like I said, they learned a lesson. They moved on from it. And um, yeah, so they went on the, the galley poly trip. Um, and then I think that was like a, a war memorial type trip. There was a, uh, you know, I think I, I think I was good for them just to you know see you know their former comrades, you know just you know just their older generation of them and what they did. I think I think that was going to World War Two, World War One. Not entirely sure. But really good trip, and I think with that I was starting to see a bond in the team. I know we kind of seen that in the last episode, but this episode we're starting to see them bonding a bit more getting close, you know, starting to hang out, you know, it's, it's starting, it's starting to be good. It's starting to be a really good team effort. Um, and also going back to the, uh, the chain scandal, they, they look good coming back. Yeah. It does take a big type of rest, you know, cause it's different from just practicing to actually play in front of like thousands of fans. So, you know, it's, it's big, <laughs> it's big, but that was really good. That was really good. Uh, oh, and then uh, also Ricky Pointing, uh, who was part of the great Australian teams. Good to see him back coaching. It's always good to have those assistant coaches back with the team. I always feel that's important in any kind of sport. You know, having having a coach or two who's, who's been through it, who's been through it, played phenomenal, high, high expectations who's won it and man just uh so it's awesome to see ricky pointing really cool dude really enjoyed him so yeah so him back to the team giving the extra tips because because if you are a player and like you are seeing uh and you're seeing a coach and, and, and like i'm sorry and your coach he was a, a legend i mean she's in there taking pointers Taking tips, how to win, all that. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, so, 
the World Cup. As you guys know, this was the World Cup. And man, uh, let's go and get into the World Cup, man. Let's go and get to, to the World Cup. Still his first game is against Afghanistan, and you already expected the booing and heckling. And you kind of already expected that. I wasn't really surprised when I saw that. I kind of already expected them to start booing and heckling. Even we saw at one point, I think Ricky Pointing and Justin Linger, they, they had to be held back in their seats for almost attacking fans or coming out after the fans and all that. Like, But you kind of already expected that too. Like you can't just, I'm sorry, my phone keeps locking. But you kind of already expected that. Like you can't, you can't expect the fans to not do anything or not, you know, you can't. I mean, do you expect the fans to just, oh, yeah, like, good job for cheating, guys. Like, yeah, let's all give them a big old clap clap of hands for them cheating. No. You expect them to be booing. You expect them to be heckling because they cheated. They cheated the game, they, and they cheated themselves. And they cheated their fans. So, at that point, I was like, I mean, you can, you can, I mean, you can try to shut them up, but the fans have, have a voice. The fans have an opinion, too. And they don't respect that. And if I was a fan, I, I'll be booing too. You cheated the game and you cheat yourselves. And we don't like cheaters. So that was my that was my thoughts. Um they did beat Afghanistan. And then we kind of did get they get, get to know a bit more of David Warner and Steve Smith. Uh Davey, they say he, he's a bit of a, a know it all guy. He just knows everything that's going on, everything. He just knows everything, everything and everyone. <laughs> he he just Mr. Know It All. Nothing wrong with that. I do. Ha I do have a couple of friends who like that. Mr. Mr. Know Everything. And Steve Smith, man. Uh, <laughs> as far as pretty funny, cause dude, he's a bit weird. Dude's a bit weird. Like, I think I think at one point there was at like a pub or a party. And next thing you know, he just started imagining, just started to hit. Like, I'm like, dude, like, we're partying, and you're thinking about hitting, hitting a cricket ball? Come on, like. <laughs> Like, come on, man, like, you don't have to think about cricket 24-7, which is great, though. Nothing wrong with that, you know what I mean? It's nothing wrong, you know. I think it's hard for professional athletes, I'm guessing, to not think about the sport every time. But, if you're, I mean, if I'm at a party, I don't want to see you practicing your swing. Dude, enjoy life. Like, we can think about cricket tomorrow, but tonight, let's party and have fun. So, my man just wants to hit. He just wants to hit the ball. Uh, game two, they played the they played the West Indies. Good win. Game three was against India, as you guys know. India, man, home to great, great teams. India, they lost that game, uh, which I'm not surprised. India, like I said, are a very, very good team. Game four against Pakistan, they won. David Warner, who, who was kind of struggling early on in the tournament, was starting to hit, which is really good to see because they needed that, you know, I think him and Finch started to get a pretty good partnership, you know, at, at that one and two. So, and also we know about Aaron Finch. And also, where is, I don't know where Tim Payne is. I haven't seen Tim Payne. I don't know if he got, if he got. I, like, I still, still don't know what happened to Tim. Like, dude, he just went MIA on us. <laughs> he just went MIA on us. But it's good to see uh, Warner and Finch hit their stride, especially in game five against Sri Lanka. Very, very good win. Game six against Bangladesh. Another good win. Um, and also, I do like, also, um, just going back to sports in general, we're also trying to see a lot of analytics, a lot of, a lot of data, a lot of data, a lot of data we're going with, uh, <laughs> we say data, 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 doesn't matter, I say data, so I, I, I'm going to go with data, uh, I did like the data they was going with, you know, we see that in sports, a lot of analytics, stats, is just starting to really take over games. We see in soccer, basketball, baseball, any sport, you're going to see data start, you know, just how, how to attack teams, what's every player's weakness, what's the biggest strength, and how to use that against our advantage. It's becoming a big numbers game, a big statistics percentage game. And that's the way sports is really going. You know, you're going to play the odds, you're going to play the numbers. So that was really cool, seeing how they wanted to attack England. Um, they knew that England was struggling against lefties. So that's what they decided to go with. Decided to go with lefties and all that. Really, really good. Shout out to them lefties. Uh, ben Stokes, man, for England, really good. Very, very good player Ben Stokes is. Uh, and they actually beat England. 
very good win. And I actually thought when they beat England, I'm like, oh yeah, this this is this is a year that they could they could do it. But yeah. Game eight, they beat New Zealand, and then shit went left. Oh. Shit went left, man. Shit went left. Uh, damn. This ah oh, damn. So they was training, getting ready for getting ready for the game. Maxwell gets hurt. Last name Maxwell. Uh he gets hurt. He got hit. Uh he got hit like a shoulder. This is a, a regular training session, so the bowlers are just practicing against the batsmen. He gets hurt. And then the guy who's going to, to replace Max on Marsh, he gets hurt. I'm like, God, please. And like, this is like the World Cup. So there's like a lot of these guys, like, possibly last or final chance to win a World Cup. Like, and that sucks, man. Like, imagine, like, imagine your World Cup ending because of your teammate hurting you. That's tough. I will be pissed. I ain't gonna cap. I will be absolutely pissed. And the funny thing was, when Marsh got hurt, Pat come and say he wanted he wanted to do one more before that, because Pat said, "Oh yeah, you know, I just didn't like the way I, you know I threw that last ball. Let me do. I mean, I I bore that last ball. Let me do it again. And guess what? He injured a teammate. So that sucked. And then Usman, he got hurt." During the game against England, so we're now we're in the, now we're in the semifinals. So now, um, no, this is I think it's the last game before the semis. Usman got hurt. He injured like his hamstring and stuff like that. You can see he was pretty emotional about it because he knew his World Cup journey was over. And like I said, I when you start watching, you actually start feeling, you start feeling for these guys, man. You actually start caring. And I felt bad. I felt bad. Uh, I felt bad. It was just like I said, and, and like you guys know, Usman is one of my favorite players on the team. And to see him hurt, man, see how good he, you know, he's been playing this year. Or playing throughout the um, documentary sucked. Just sucked, but it is what it is. So since it was that last game, the guy played England in the semifinals. He got to play England again. And actually started pretty good. I actually thought, you know, it wasn't that good. Uh, the new kid, new kid in the blocks, Alex Carey, got hit. Ugh. I, I, I know we have seen some of these, like, these, like, batsmen getting hit. Ugh. It's, ugh. Jeez. It's disgusting. He got hit, like, right below his chin. Started bleeding. You can see his face starting to swell up. And I think after that, shit just went left again, man. Like I said, shit just went left. They just... They just couldn't really recover from that. England went on and just went absolutely crazy bowling wise. And then when they came, and then when they came in the bat, they couldn't really stop them. Um, then, as you guys know, England do go on and win the World Cup that year, 2019. But we, we still got the Ashes to go. We still got the Ashes to go, so Australia can redeem themselves in the Ashes. And I gotta say, Australia is starting to play very, very good. Except, you know, except for them losing against England. But there are a lot of, a lot of good teams, man. And it's not, it's not, shit's not sweet, man. Shit is not sweet. Um, I gotta get play, uh, shout out to these cricket players, man. Big props, big props, man. I know when I first started watching, you know, reacting to like you know, my first year watching cricket and all of that, I'm like, okay, it don't seem too hard. You know what I mean? It's basically like baseball, except, you know, cricket, they, they bowl it towards the ground. Baseball, they throw it straight at you, basically. You know, they throw it to a, to a strike zone. It's not sweet, man. It's, <laughs> cricket is not sweet. It is not sweet. And, um, gotta give big shouts to them, man. So, seeing guys like Virat Kohli, you know, uh, Stokes. And other guys who are just, you know, Steve Smith, Warner, whatever, seeing, seeing these guys, how much effort and time they put into their craft, it's simply amazing, man. It's simply, simply amazing. But yeah, um, 
that's really it for episode six. Very, very enjoyed it. Um, let me see if I'm missing anything. Nope. Just, you know, like I said, just, just a quick little recap. You know, Steve Smith didn't want to come back. Uh, World Cup, they win. Majority of games, it said it was their last game. Um, and I think after that last game, I felt bad. Like, it was pretty, it's pretty, mo I didn't cry. So, chill out. I didn't cry. But just seeing them, you know, just, just how sad they was because they, they played so, so good. And seeing the emotions on their face, especially from Justin Langley, the coach, you know, it just just sucks. So like I said, a lot of these guys, this is probably their only, probably like their only time they can be probably able to experience. Like, so you get older, man. The World Cup isn't every year. You get older and all that, but. And so you guys may not even be back for the next World Cup because it could be bad players coming up, but. Yeah, that's really that. Uh, hope you guys did enjoy episode six. I, I enjoyed episode six. Hope you guys like this review. You guys do not forget to like and sub on this video. Comment down below. Yeah, start your reactions to it. See you guys later.